to temperatures, snow and ice. Our weather team is Mike's already looking for ahead to spring and yeah, tornado right. seasons right around the corner. That's right. Uh, tornadoes can drop out of the sky just about any time of day and any time of year if conditions are right. Now springtime can be especially busy time. The frequency and ferocity of twisters hitting our part of the country earned us the nickname Tornado Alley. Tonight I'm looking into claims Tornado Alley is moving. Check out recent headlines. Major tornadoes hit Kentucky. Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi. But does this mean Tornado Alley as we know it is no longer? The term Tornado Alley has been used for decades. It refers to the stretch of land from Texas to Nebraska and even up into southern Minnesota prone to tornado outbreaks. But based on the recent tornado activity, some ask if we're seeing a decrease in tornadic activity in the Great Plains and an increase in the Mid-South, and whether Tornado Alley as we know it is moving. Harold Brooks is a senior scientist with the Storm Prediction Center and the National Severe Storms Laboratory. If we look back 40 years, we can see that there's been an increase in the number of tornadoes that have occurred in what we might think of as the Mid-South. Uh, sort of take Memphis, Tennessee and draw a, a circle 150 miles around it and a little bit of a decrease over, say, the Texas Panhandle and western Kansas. Now, to put it in perspective, the changes we're talking about are maybe 10 percent over that 40 year period. So not a lot of change overall. But what about when we look close to home? Ed Kalanis is with the National Weather Service in Tulsa. So when you hear that the number of tornadoes may be increasing other parts of the country and decreasing in this part of the country, the data is not supporting that. Also, Tornado Alley might be too narrow a label. In reality, in the U.S., tornado activity stretches from central Texas to the Dakotas and all the way to the Midwest and Appalachians and even to parts of the Atlantic seaboard. Bottom line, no matter where you live, it's always important to stay weather aware and have a safety plan especially when you consider if you go back to 1950 through the records I'm, I'm not sure there's there's a two-year period back-to-back -back years with no significant tornadoes in that whole that whole record period um, so that it's pretty unusual not to see a significant tornado uh, the likelihood of us seeing a significant tornado this year is is probably pretty high as a result of that and that's a, a really interesting t statistic there. Again, we've never seen back-to-back -back years uh, with zero uh, significant tornadoes. So this would be going to the third year, which tells us statistically our chances for high for seeing a significant tornado, and that would be about an EF3 or greater in our viewing area. So really, the message here is be prepared. Nothing's changed. We want to be prepared ahead of a severe weather season. And stay in touch all the time exactly. when it's close. All right, thank you, Mike.